we have a guest that would like to greet us and we'll continue with our program. It is my pleasure to invite Mr. Peter Obi to come and greet the brother. My dear fathers in the Lord and all our dear brothers and sisters that are gathered here, mine is just a very simple one. Having listened to our two revered fathers this morning, I don't think I have anything to say except may God and the opportunity of standing on this altar listening that we love each other more that we care for each other more mine is a simple one i can't tell you anything i first to ask for your prayers for nigeria prayers for nigeria as we gather here and that prayers i was i'm not qualified to do that but i'll ask for prayer points the prayer points are number one is as we go for election this year may god almighty ensure that nigeria elects somebody with character somebody who is competent somebody who will respect our religious rights Number two is that may God continue to touch us politicians to use public money for public good. And finally, do remember we have no other country except this one. And it is your prayers that kept it to today. I do not think without prayers Nigeria will still exist. Nigeria has gone through what no country has ever gone through and is still standing. And only and only your prayers can save it. Please do remember our country in your prayers. Thank you and God bless you. Praise the Lord. Can we all rise on our feet, please? As we pray, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. One presidential aspirant stood here and gave prayer requests for Nigeria. Lord, answer all the requests. <laughs> Give us leaders that will respect our religious rights. <laughs> leaders that will use public money for public goods. <laughs> and help 
us Nigeria to love ourselves more than before. In the election of February 25 and March 11, Lord, let your will be done. We ask oh God, we know you. When people don't want you to rule, you overrule to show who is in charge. Concerning this year's election, February 25, March 11, Lord, please overrule. We know when you overrule, your will will be done, your kingdom will come, and Nigeria will move forward. Lord, overrule. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let the right candidate of your choice emerge as the next president of Nigeria. Yeah. Let all the prayers that your children have been praying in every state, every city, every town, every hamlet, every local government area, every village, Father, in your mercy, answer our prayers. Wipe our tears. Deliver Nigeria. And we promise to give you all the glory. Thank you for the way you have blessed us today. Let the blessing be permanent. Thank you for the word that you have sent to us through your son and our father in the Lord. You sent your word through Bishop David Oripu. You sent your word through Baba Adeboye. And Baba prayed that we will be greater than their generation. Lord, answer this prayer. Answer this prayer. Answer this prayer. We thank you for the giants spiritually that you have raised in this nation. For the Father stood here today and expressed his heart desire. I want you to raise children that will be greater than they are. Lord, answer this prayer. That at this from this assembly today, ministers of God that will do much, much more than the fathers, Lord, you will raise them. Like you made Elisha to do more than double what Elijah did from this house today. Raise a new generation of Elishas. And we shall give you all the glory. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. If you know you will be an answer to their prayer, say a loud amen. If you know the hand of the Lord, we raise you to be greater than the fathers. Shout a loud amen. Hallelujah. All right, uh, we will let our fathers go and then we will close this service. Daddy, thank you very much. Can we give them a hand? Daddy Jew, thank you. Daddy Okonko, thank you. Bishop Redepo, thank you. Clap for them. Let's celebrate them. Put your hands together. Let's honor the fathers that we have. Keep clapping for them. Thank you, Jesus. Now, please, please don't move yet. Just hear this word. Don't move. Hear this word. This evening's meeting we start at 3 o'clock. And I'm happy to let you know that our daddy, Daddy Adiboye, will still be here with us by the grace of God. Our father, um, Bishop Michael Konko, will be here with us. It's going to be another tremendous time in the presence of the Lord. So I want you to let's share the grace. We are Pentecostals. We are orderly. We don't walk away without sharing grace. Now stand on your feet.
Stand on your feet as we do our closing prayer. Thank you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so very much for what you have done this day. We give you all the praise for being around us because we can feel your presence. We can feel your glory. We can feel the anointing. Lord, as we go, whatever we have heard today, begin to help us to digest them. I will not forget anything. Sweet Holy Spirit, remind us all the things that we have heard today that will continue to be more than conquerors. In Jesus' name, amen. Can we share the grace together in fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. This is my song. And that is your own attitude.